Hi peeps! In this video I am going to be using those acrylic powders that I mixed, those colours that I mixed in the previous video and I'm just showing you all the little bits and bobs that I'll be using this beautiful glitter from Smiley's and those little red stone things I can't remember what they're called but they're really really pretty they're quite chunky though so I did file into it a bit and you'll see that later but yeah it's a bit unfortunate so as you saw in the beginning I was using Unity Acrylic now when I use Unity Acrylic I also use the monomer that goes with it and then the acrylic powders that I mixed myself those are Nao so I'll use the Nao liquid to go with that just, just so you know and I'm making my nail bed at the moment extended nail bed and you saw that I compared it to my other hand because I've already done my other hand so I'm just trying to make sure it's even and just going in with little beads making sure the cuticle area is nice and neat and as you saw I built my wall up nice and ready to harden and yeah then I can file into it and sharpen it up a bit before I add the colour on the tip. So I'm using a black acrylic powder now that I also mixed myself and I didn't use it wet enough and it's dried too quickly as you can see I was trying to pat it down really hard <laughs> but, oh well black's a tricky colour and you've really got to be careful not to get it on your skin because yeah it gets everywhere and you have to make sure the cuticle area is really deep with that and as you saw there I'm going around the sides just to make sure there's no gaps because when it's a dark colour like that you've got to notice if there's any colour missing so yeah just making sure the colour is all even all over the nail nicely and I applied it quite thin because as you can see I am adding that beautiful glitter called Rave from Smiley's telling you you need a glitter mix go and look at Smiley's glitter store she has got loads and they're really reasonably priced and Sarah the lady that owns the company she's lovely if you wanted a, a mix that she didn't have she would mix it for you she's such a sweetheart those teardrop shapes are quite thick so just bear that in mind they are they're much thicker than the other glitter but they're so pretty so on the index finger I am using black acrylic again doing a whole nail of black and again I'm applying it thinly because obviously all of these nails are going to need capping well it might not be obvious but yeah I will be capping all of the nails for strength with my clear I also just like the way it looks rather than filing because some some acrylic powders colored acrylic powders that is are strength powders and you, you can just build your nail with them but I like the look of the clear cat nails I don't know it just gives it a glassy finish rather than just having the acrylic colour and filing into that I just think it looks nicer but that's just my opinion so I'm using clear now and I'm capping that, that gorgeous rave glitter to make sure I don't file into it get it all covered have a good look make sure nothing is shiny anymore so that you've covered it all if it's shining still you haven't covered it so yeah, good layer of clear over that I don't know what happened with my camera but I'm sorry you missed the thumb well most of the thumb all I did was I used that pink colour that I mixed in the previous video did a full nail of that and then added the brave glitter on top of that which is pretty much what I'm going to do on this little finger but I'm using the purple as the base so you didn't miss much oh and I added the abalone shells too I had some black abalone shell I did that out on the thumb as well as uh, the glitter and I'm going to do that on the little finger as well so yeah I'm just using my purple acrylic powder and making sure the cuticle area is neat and that I've got a good 
solid covering of the colour on the nail before I go in with the little glitters. Oh no, I'm going to add the abalone shell first. So, thin layer of clear to give my abalone shells something to stick into. Sorry I've gone out of shot. You can just about see me placing them now. Yeah, so I'm just placing the shell pieces first and then I'll go in with the glitter around them. I'm just using a tiny, tiny amount of clear and going in with the ray glitter in and around the ab well, abalone shells. And I noticed that the black was starting to come off, so I thought, you know what, just rub a tiny amount of monomer with my brush and it revealed the gorgeous colours of the shell. Can you see that? Oh, it's so pretty. So yeah, cap capping that now, protect all of that beautiful glitter and shell pieces. So pretty. I love the colours in the shells. <coughs> Excuse me. Shell pieces are so beautiful. I'm checking from all sides to make sure my structure is there and also to make sure that everything is capped really well. Because I applied the base layer really thin and because I've got a base layer of clear and I think I did the base, yeah I did, base layer of clear and then I've got the thin layer of colour, then you've got the glitter and shell pieces and whatnot and then clear again so it is quite a lot of layers so you have to you have to watch what you're doing making sure that those those layers are really thin so that you've got enough space to cap without making it huge and bulky can be quite tricky not to get them bulky but I did manage to get these not bulky which I was really pleased with Tidying up the cuticle area, checking the sides, making sure I've got it on because sometimes when you pull your acrylic down the middle you miss the edges so it's always worth just uh, checking your sides like I'm doing there. So I'm going to cap that black nail. I'm not adding, as you saw, not adding any glitter to that. building my structure with that, you can see I put my apex in, just making sure I've got enough on the free edge. And I pat and I stroke and I pat and I stroke and try and make it as smooth as possible to reduce my filing. I hate filing, don't like filing, but I love a good shaped nail, so filing is a must of course. I'm just using my hand file to go around the extended nail bed area and shape that in so it's nice and sharp once I apply my colour on. I've wiped away the dust. I'm just putting the tiniest amount of clear on just in case the file filed away some of my clear layer. That can happen. So yeah, I always like to go in sometimes. Depends on what I'm doing. I'm using the black acrylic powder and I'm pushing that up the side walls to make sure it goes round the edges of the extended nail bed. And I'm not going over the extended nail bed colour. I'm just trying to keep it neat and buff, butted up to it but not over it because I want to be able to cap 
I need to be able to cap the free edge so yeah I'm trying to get my application neat as possible around that extended nail bed checking both sides making sure it looks good neat and tidy Now I'm using those, I don't know what, I can't remember what they're called, these little stone pieces, I don't, I don't know what they're called, I can't remember for the life of me what they're called, but they're really pretty. I did notice that the colour did bleed a little bit though, which I wasn't happy with, but obviously it was already in case there was nothing I could do about it and I wasn't going to redo them, so yeah. That was a bit gutting that the colour did bleed. They're so pretty. They are quite chunky though, some of them, and especially around the side areas, it's really hard not to file into them then. Unfortunately, I did a little bit, but never mind. It didn't look too bad though. Get all of those lovely little pieces kept. You can see I built my extended nail bed quite high, probably too high really, because I'm going to have to file that down. Speaking of filing, here we go. <laughs> Shape the side walls with my hand file. Tidy those up. I wish it really was this quick. Cool, can you imagine? I've probably said that a million times in my other videos, but ugh, really don't like firing. <laughs> I don't think anyone likes filing. I don't mind watching filing though, it's really weird. I'm quite happy to watch filing and uh, you know, I love watching other YouTubers and I will happily watch them file. It's quite satisfying to watch, but to do it, ugh, ugh, that's all I can say, it's just ugh. <laughs> I'm using my e-file now and I've got a fine no, that actually this this bit is extra fine. It's an extra fine ceramic bit. So I'm cleaning up the cuticle area, make sure that's nice and flush. And then I'll go over the body of the nail. Smooth that down, take away any bulk if it's there to be removed, then I will. <laughs> but there's not too much to take off these because my application wasn't too bad, so. But I will have to bring down that extended nail bed area. Yeah, I did build my wall quite high. Just shaping and contouring. You'll see that I always keep the file moving. It's not staying in the same place. Do not want to build up friction heat. And I don't want a flat nail. So you keep moving over and, and around, over and around, over and around, so that your nail is nice and contoured and curved, not flat. I don't like flat nails. Well, I don't think they're very appealing to the eye, but they're also just not strong, so. You've got your curve in there, it's a stronger nail. And I'll use my hand file and just finish it off. Make sure it's all nice and smooth and contoured way I like it. Just whip it over a little bit. Not too much to do because we farted most of it. I'm really faffing with that middle finger, aren't I? Oh, I'm finished now. Good. <laughs> so I've dusted off, wiped my hands down and I'm applying some gems. 
this is going to cut out as I'm applying the gems. I'm really, really sorry. I, I don't know what was going on with my camera that day. But I seem to be missing bits of footage. But I'm sorry. Can't do anything. It's gone. I used my resin for the smaller crystals, but the bigger crystals like this one, I'm using the Tony Lee. Um, oh, what's it called? Is it called gem glue? Jewelry gel, that's it. The Tony Lee jewelry gel I was using for the bigger stones. So I'm just top coating. No wipe top coat. And now I'm using this black chrome pigment powder. It's really nice. Just rub that in. Then I'll use the other side of the makeup applicator and take off all the excess. And then I'll top coat that again. Love the way that now looks. So pearly, that black chrome. Very nice. So I'm using the resin glue, resin, nail, nail resin, yeah, well it's a glue, it's still a glue, you know, applying some more crystals, yeah, pretty, pretty crystals, this set was very blingy, I did use a lot of crystals, <laughs> So I just add resin in, in bits, just so I don't want it to dry before I get to it. Not very quick with placing crystals. And I'll use the other side of my crystal picker upper tool to sort of nudge the crystals in place if they don't go where I want them to go. If they need to be moved over or budged a little bit. Yeah, see I'll turn it over and budge them around. I'm happy with that and now I will go in and top coat all of the nails oh, look at that can you see those shell pieces how they glow sort of green oh so pretty oh look at this glitter when I top coat it oh my goodness oh, look at this oh, how pretty how pretty such a gorgeous glitter so much in that glitter it's crazy it's a really gorgeous mix top coating the thumb and more you can see more of the the abalone shell pieces oh so pretty and uh, oh now you see that there's the rest of the stones that you missed me putting on sorry but there's that's that's what I did <laughs> I added stones all around that big one. And I'll use a fine detailer brush and just grab some top coat and put that right around the stones to help secure them. Same with this. I'll uh, top coat around them and if need be I'll use my detailer brush to just really get in there. all done all cured and now I'm adding my top coat and that's it we're finished hope you like this video thank you so much for watching and I'll hope to see you well I won't see you I hope you come back again and see another video of mine <laughs> and I've got some pictures to show you now we're coming to the end of the video now so take care peeps and we will meet again soon. Bye for now.